Hello friends. Let us do another method wherein we can find the square root of large numbers using a simple and easy method. Now, for this method, you need to know the squares of some small numbers, say up to 20 or even up to 15, 16, 17 will solve the purpose. So I have written the squares of up to 17 here for your convenience. So I am going to demonstrate this method by uh, showing you how to find the square root of 1, 5, 8, 7, 6. Now the steps for this is just break up this number in last two numbers and the remaining 158. So what you do is just have the have a look at the unit place here 6 so if you observe numbers from 1 to 10 you will find 6 here and 6 here in the units place so 4 square is 16 you have 6 in the units place and 6 square is 36 you have 6 in the units place so obviously your answer will end with 4 or 6 so we will find out what is the right answer between 4 or 6 the other part of the answer now you have the number as 158 the second part just observe 158 lies between 144 and 169 these are the perfect squares so just find out between which two squares does 158 lie so you have seen that it lies between 12 square and 13 square so what you do for the remaining part is just multiply 12 and 13 if you find the product of 12 and 13 it will be 156 and your number 158 is greater than 156 so if this number is greater than the, this product then you take the greater number 6 if this product is if this number is smaller than this then you take the smaller number this is the rule you have to follow and for finding the other part of the answer you have the smaller number as 12 so this part will be 12 so your final answer will be 12 followed by 6 sounds a bit confusing when you do this for the first time but as and when you practice for 10 minutes you will come up easily with this method let us take one more example and understand this in a better way say 13924 now 24 observe the unit digit 4 4 is present in 2 square and 4 is present in 8 square see so the Second part of the answer is either 2 or 8. Now observe the other part 139. Now 139 is lying between these two numbers 11 square and 12 square. So just take the product of 11 and 12 which is 132. Now see this number. It is greater than 132. So you take the greater number 8 and smaller number 11 so your answer is 118 i hope the things become little more clearer now let us take one more example say we have a more larger number this time 26244 now 44 again 4 so you have the second part as 2 or 8 this is 262 now 262 lies between 16 square and 17 square just take the product of 16 and 17 16 and 17 the product is 272 and this product this number obviously is smaller than 272 so we will take the smaller number and the 16 here so your answer is 162 likewise you can solve more problems related to this say i am taking one more example now say we have 7569 say unit digit is 9 unit digit 9 occurs in 3 
एंड सेवन सो योर सेकेंड पार्ट विल बी आइडर थ्री और सेवन द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज सेवेंटी फाइव एंड सेवेंटी फाइव लाइज हियर इन बिटवीन सिक्सटी फोर एंड एट्टी वन दैट इज एट स्क्वायर एंड नाइन स्क्वायर जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई एट एंड नाइन सेवेंटी टू सो दिस नंबर इज ग्रेटर देन सेवेंटी टू सो टेक द ग्रेटर नंबर सेवन एंड एट सो योर आंसर इज एटी सेवन लाइक वाइज यू कैन गो ऑन एंड ऑन एंड सॉल्व ए वेराइटी ऑफ प्रॉब्लम फॉर फाइंडिंग द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ दीज बिगर नंबर्स through this very easy and very very interesting method so keep learning mathematics keep enjoying and share and subscribe the channel if you like it